This is how to open a sheet to the last edited tab or range. And for this, we're going to be using on edit, on open, and the property service, all three to get this done. So here's the sheet I have set up. And right now it's just three tabs, all blank, just that we can work with to make sure that the scripts are all working properly. All right, so what I want to do here is use the property service to store what range and what tab edits were made at. Let's go ahead and change this to on edit. And then here, like I said, I wanna use the property service, get the script properties, and we're going to set property. Let's go ahead and call this Last open tab, make it really obvious what we're doing. Okay, and then the value I want to put in here is the name of that sheet. So e dot source dot get active sheet. Okay, so all this should do is whenever we make an edit, it should store the name of the tab where the edit was made in the property service in a property called last open tab. So let's go ahead and just test that. And oftentimes like just have a test function and copy this. Right, that's all we need. Run that test function. Oh, I should probably log that so we can see it. All right, so it's accessing the property, but right now the property doesn't exist. No edit has been made. So let's go back to the sheet and let's go ahead and make an edit over here. Check that the on edit ran. There we go, on edit ran there. So now if we run test, perfect. Now it's giving us sheet three is where that edit occurred. We can go ahead and make another um, property. I'm going to copy up through here for simplicity. Last open R. That's going to be last open range. And that's going to be e dot range dot get a one notation. R, not range. Okay, that should still be null because since since I made this since I made this property, I have not made an edit. Let's go ahead and make another edit. All right, and now what should show up is last open tab should be called sheet three. Last open R should be called B four. Perfect. Now we do have to have both of these because just this string, this A1 notation, the B4, you can't just open something to B4. You have to open it to a tab name, shade three, and then the range, B4. Because the property is only holding, it's not actually holding the range. That is, we can't do this and get it to work. It cannot just be e dot range. It has, it, it's going to store a string, so we need to give it a string to store, and then we can open it via that string. All right. Now in my test, let's go ahead and just open the sheet to that location, so that we can prove it's working, and then we can make it work as an on open. So let's do let sh active dot set active sheet now this is going to be easier if we just declare this first dot set active sheet there we go that's better 
just because we need to use the spreadsheet app dot get active. And I never like to retype things if we can possibly avoid it. So set active sheet sh dot get sheet by name. And then here the name is going to be this. All right, so for the get name, we're accessing that property service. Okay. And then we can say ss.set active range ss.get range. We have to go about it this way because we're storing strings. So we have to access the range and then set that as the active range. We cannot just do set active range and get the value stored here. We actually have to get the range and then set that active. So here, let's copy this in. Okay, so let's go ahead and come to sheet 1A1. But based on this script, we should, when we run this, we should set the active to sheet 3, B4 is what should happen. And look at that, it did. This will also work over larger ranges. So let's say we did a deletion over B3 and B4. Back to sheet 1. Run it again, it's showing B3 to B4, and we'll have the full thing highlighted. So this will work over larger ranges if a large range were edited at once. Usually that would happen because of a, a paste or because of a deletion. That's the two reasons that would happen. So now we have this working. We can go ahead and put this into the on open. On open runs, as the name suggests, every time the spreadsheet is open. It does not run when you change tabs. So you can't do anything like, oh, when I change tab, open to the last place that that tab was open. There's no trigger for that, but there is for when you open the entire spreadsheet. Now we're basically going to duplicate this entire test function just as an on open. You do not need an E value here. The trigger runs, but there is no, or the trigger fires the function, but it's not passing anything to the function. Now I'm actually just going to copy all of this since we already proved that works. All right. That should be everything. I'm going to copy the URL of my spreadsheet. Open up this new tab and I'm going to close the spreadsheet. Open it again and let's see if it runs for us. There we go. Obviously, it took it a moment because it was loading the spreadsheet before it could fully load the script. But as you could see, it was on sheet one and then jumped to sheet three. Let's show that again. So it opens the spreadsheet. It opens at sheet one, A1, as it does by default. And then in a minute it moves to sheet three, B3 through four. So let's review real quick what it's doing again. In our script editor, every time there is an edit made, it is writing to these properties, last open tab and last open R. Then when it opens, when the spreadsheet is opened, it is accessing those two values. And we could actually split that out to see that more clearly. So let's do let sheet name equals. Let's set that to and let R equals. Just make this easier to see. And here, sheet name, and here, R. Yeah, this makes it a little clearer. So here's the sheet name we're getting. Here's the range that we're getting as A1 notation. And then we are setting the active sheet 
and setting the active range. And since we just changed it a little bit, I just want to show it's still working. Opens at sheet one. And then very quickly moves to the place of the last edit. I do also want to mention that this is not user specific. You cannot very easily access the names or the email address of the user. So there's no way to say, open this up to the last place I edited. It is only going to be the last place that the entire sheet was edited. And remember, do not run on edits or on opens. Any of these automatic functions, do not run them. They will fail. So if I run the on edit, right, it fails, cannot read property source of undefined. It has to have that E variable. Make sure that you do not run these. It will error out. Just let it run whenever you make an edit. But since we're using the simple trigger, we don't even need to, we don't need to make a trigger. The trigger exists just because of calling it on edit. Just don't run it. It'll work just fine. And this will work for really any number of tabs, any ranges. Um, but yes, that will run for any edit, not a user specific edit. The only way I could think to get around that is if you own a sheet and you've shared that to anonymous users, for instance, anyone can, anyone can open it then you could access the user and if the user exists then that would be you and if the user does not exist then don't track it but there would be a lot going on thanks for watching please like subscribe share and go ahead and connect with me i try to be active in the comment section as well you can find me at any of these locations as well